Hi there, Terry Van Noy, and you are at the end of this video series about completing the square. I work privately with students all over uh, the U.S., Canada, and overseas, uh, middle school, high school, even in college. And what I like to do is work live with my students. Um, we talk just like you hear me now, and we go to a whiteboard, we work together, and I can support you on what you're studying. So if you're interested in a free session, the first one's free at least, and uh, we can talk and I can show you a demo of how everything works. So give me a call or go to my website. Now this is self quiz three. We've been studying completing the square. We've been going over uh, how you solve a quadratic equation, how you work with a parabola equation to complete the square and find the vertex and other things about a parabola. We have circles, ellipses, and hyperbolas and those equations in standard form also involve completing the square. So self quiz three, we're gonna just focus on hyperbolas to finish up. Here we go. All right, a hyperbola is those purple lines right there. And again, I'm, hopefully this is review for you. Now to graph a hyperbola, you need to know the center of the, or the vertex here of the um, hyperbola and the distance here of this cushion, I call it a uh, rectangle cushion, a cushion rectangle, that gives you the asymptotes. The asymptotes are the kind of invisible lines that the legs of the hyperbola approach but never touch. So if we can determine the center right there of the hyperbola and the asymptotes, then we can graph it. All right, so in the formula, we have an X group, and over a squared and a y group over b squared. Now notice it's subtraction. If you have a plus sign there, that's actually an ellipse. So if we have a subtraction here between the groups, we have h and k, which represents the coordinates of the center of the hyperbola. And the a and the b values from this formula give you the dimensions and the way to draw the asymptotes. So that's what that's all about. You have to be able to complete the square to be able to factor the H or the X group here and the Y group here. So as always in these self quizzes, I expect that you've watched the previous videos and have a basic idea. You've practiced with the problem set problems that I've provided. And now it's your turn to try. So I want you to notice these two equations right here. Um, pause the video and then come back when you've done it and tried it and we'll go over it. All right, number five, you can see the answer here. And um, I'm gonna show you and work through how we get that. And the very first step is to group our X's and Y's together and move the constant, which is minus 184, to the other side. So here's what it looks like. Now we have to look for a common factor in the X group and the Y group, if there is one. So I factor out a four factor from the x's and a negative one factor from the y's. Okay, now complete the square here. Half of four is two and then square it back. We're gonna add four right there. Half of four again is two and square it again, I get a four. Now what did I actually add into the left side of that equation? Well, I added 16, right, four times four, and I added negative four, all right? So if I add a 16 and a negative 4, that's really adding 12. I need to do that on the other side. Okay, got to keep it balanced. Let's factor out our trinomials. Now if we did this right and completed the square correctly, this should be a squared binomial, and it is. x plus 2 squared and y plus 2 squared. All right. Remembering that we want it equal to 1 on the right side, we have to divide everything here by 196. So let's take a look at our final answer. As you saw a few minutes ago, there it is. Now again, the very last step is to see if you can do some simplifying. So I see the 4 there and the 196 there. That leaves me with the 49 in the denominator. And here, nothing else to cancel out there, so 196 is in the denominator. Now for that ellipse, the center is going to be at negative 2, negative 2. Notice the sign change there. And the A 
a value which is the horizontal radius if you will how wide the ellipse is in both directions is 7 okay and 196 square to that is 14 so it's 14 tall and 7 wide out from the center all directions all right number six here's how we got that answer we're going to group the x terms and the y terms together and get the constant on the other side so now it's negative 124 let's look for a common factor so 4 out of the x group and negative 25 out of the y group now remember in the hyperbola formula we want to make sure we have a subtraction between the x group on the right or on the left and the y group right here so now we're going to complete the square and again half of 18 is 9 but we need to square it so positive 81 half of 4 or negative 4 there is negative 2 and square it to have a 4 now what did we really add well we added in 324 because it's 4 times 81 there right and we also added in negative 100 all right that's actually 224 so we're going to add 224 to the right hand side all right we're going to factor our perfect square trinomials there which will give me x minus 9 squared and y plus 2 now I noticed something here and I wonder if you caught it earlier if I factor out negative 25 from negative 100 it should be a positive 4y so sorry I made that little mistake right there but in this trinomial now we're gonna have whoops forgot my exponent there but we're gonna have a y plus 2 group right there boy I'm glad I caught that error also I notice up here it's y plus 2 alright we've got to divide each side by 100 because we want it equal to 1 on the right hand side now if I do that remember that I can factor out a 4 out of each of those which gives me the 25 underneath the X group and I can factor out a 25 and it leaves me with the 4 underneath the Y group so final answer the equation of this hyperbola looks like this that tells me that the center of the hyperbola is at 9 negative 2 and the A distance horizontally going across is 5, and the B distance up and down is 2. All right, thank you so much for watching all of these videos. So hopefully that you um, got enough help for what you're studying. And again, make some comments for me for some feedback and share these videos. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.